Hey traders, welcome to the pittrades.com daily report. It's Tuesday, uh, just after the close of the market, and uh, what a day. Uh, one of the wildest days I've seen in the markets um, as far as uncertainty is concerned. Uh, just whip sign back and forth. We saw some real extreme lows, and of course, we saw some real extreme highs into the close today. So let's get started. Take a look at this. Um, on a weekly chart, we came down overnight, tested that 71 quarters area, and then uh, pushed down in the 68 range uh, during the regular trading hours. And then from there, they just kept buying this thing up. Uh, it was it was quite interesting to watch. Uh, hopefully, you guys didn't get chewed up too much. We had a nice day. We were able to extract about 14 points out of the market today. We felt pretty fortunate to do that because this thing was the wild west of trading today. Um, on a daily chart, uh, you can see we came down right and just poked through this this low here. Now, is this a, the double bottoms in, and are we going to rally from here? I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of things that could have speculated this rally this afternoon. It could have been uh, Ben Bernanke and his uh, speech uh, this afternoon, and it could have been Apple's announcements, or it could just be a lot of people short. I mean, listen, we've been short up here uh, since the 83 level, you know, down to the uh, 68 level. That's over 100 points right there. People are going to take profit sometimes. So we'll have to watch and see what uh, what shakes out in the next couple days here. Now let's look at a few levels here, a few interesting aspects. I marked this low down here and uh, <clears throat> with this dotted line and we came down made this low we broke back up uh, some resistance right here that we couldn't break up for the first uh, 60 minutes of the day we finally broke that up touched this breakdown area that we talked about the other day um, and that was going to be our first resistant area and then of course it came back where it came back to where it broke out all right so guys this is a pattern you guys got to watch this kind of stuff um, because either one of these trades right here were obviously very good trades low risk uh, high reward type of trade and especially this one here the people who got involved in that 77 78 area um, you know purpose you know really you had I, I was safer trades above the 1090 area uh, however um, this was a rip snorter you know Matt had said you know before this happened Matt came out and said that this is probably gonna happen today and boy did he call it right so uh, now I was not on this trade we did not call a trade to the long side um, and yes it would have been nice to have been on this but sometimes you don't uh, get everyone you you, you look at and that's just trading we we're able to book profits today and that's what's most important uh, be consistent okay um, anyway guys on the downside we have to look at this area first as a test this 95 up to the 98 area um, my sus suspicion is that we'll break this down in the Globex session now above this 22 area if we trade above this 22 area I'll be looking for this uh, 35 up to the 39 area as a profit uh, as a target and then of course the pivot up here see if we can push into that pivot now if for something hap uh, if something unforeseeable happens and we break this down obviously the 68 uh, come into play and then down below that I've got the uh, 60 uh, 60 62 now a lot of people have been talking if we get below 62 there is not a lot until down to 34 that is a big range there we could slide 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 so just be aware of that uh, don't be trying to buy bottoms and like I said I know some of you are probably going to comment and say well you said not to buy anything down here you're right I did say that and uh, now we have some confirmation we have some buyers in here we'll see how the Globex uh, uh, you know we'll see how Globex session plays out and maybe tomorrow there will be some buying opportunities other than that guys hey sit on the sidelines tomorrow we have some news out in the morning we have ADP employment report at 8 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time we have ISM manufacturing at 9 or excuse me 10 a.m. I um, Eastern Standard Time and then for you energy traders uh, petroleum reports out at 10 30 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time other than that guys have a great night uh, trade them well tomorrow and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow night